Yes! So here we are. This is red. We're red. <laughs> I've never seen myself with red hair. Hey friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new, my name is Alyssa Marie. A special welcome to you. Today I'm really excited because I am about to change my hair color, but not permanently, don't get any ideas. I am getting into the Curl Smith hair makeup today. I went on Instagram and asked you guys what color you want. I was kind of in between copper and ruby, so I made you guys choose and y'all chose ruby, so we're gonna go ahead and try out a little red in this hair. I'm so excited. If you do follow me on Instagram, you would know that I have been complaining about my hair for the last uh, few months now. <laughs> it's been a while because I'm just getting a little bit tired of it, a little tired of the highlights, honestly, and I've just been feeling for a switch up. Do I cut it? Do I color it? Do I, you know, do I do something? I definitely want to do something. Something is definitely coming. Change is coming for show. Sure. But for now, I'm really excited to play around with this temporary hair color. So before we jump straight in, please do make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and also make sure you hit that notification bell as well so you'll never miss a new upload ever again. Okay, so let me go ahead and give you a quick introduction to the Curlsmith hair makeup. So some of you may have heard of the hair paint wax, which it's the same kind of thing, but I'm gonna tell you why this one is a little bit different. This is actually a styling gel so instead of it just kind of depositing color on top of your hair after you style it this actually works as a styler and temporary color at the same time and I also looked into it a little bit deeper because I do have highlights in my hair as you guys know you can't really tell when it's wet it looks a lot darker when it's wet but I do still have my lighter highlights and I wanted to make sure that this stuff is not gonna stain the lighter parts of my hair as much as I've been saying I want to switch up I don't want like an accident switch up you know what I mean but yes it is apparently not supposed to stain your hair at all it's not even supposed to stain clothes it's supposed to be washable and yeah so it's supposed to be honestly a dream product and I'm really excited to get into this I feel like it's fall now so it's actually like the perfect time to even try a red so literally on the back here it says it's for all hair types you don't even need to use gloves because it's again not supposed to stain anything including not even your hands it does rinse out in one wash so you don't have to worry about having to wash it out a couple times before it fully comes out like it literally all will come out in the next wash it is transfer resistant which is great because I don't want to have a red pillowcase and it looks like they've used a lot of really natural ingredients in order to get the color payoff in there so they've used strawberry beet extract and watermelon which is really really cool I mean y'all should already know how I feel about Pearl Smith and the ingredients that they use I just I love them not only are they curly girl friendly but they make sure to use a lot of non-toxic ingredients which I am so here for if you are new to my channel then I definitely suggest you check out a few of my other videos where I've spoke more in depth about Curl Smith themselves I'll actually link one up here and then a few more below so you guys can check that out if you'd like all right so let's go ahead and get straight into this I'm starting with freshly washed hair I haven't added any styling products to it yet so we're literally starting fresh all right, so first I'm going in with the Curlsmith Hold Me Softly Leave-In Conditioner. This is just a nice, creamy, moisturizing leave-in conditioner. And since I'm using the Curlsmith hair makeup, I figured why not use their leave-in conditioner as well. So I know from other people who have done videos on this, as well as from Curlsmith directly on their Instagram page, they say that if you want a more intense color payoff, you should do it when your hair is not a soaking wet. But here's the thing, I will not get the curl results that I want if my hair is not styled from being soaking wet. If you know me, you already know, okay? I love to style my wash and goes when my hair is like super soaking wet. So what I'm gonna do is still kind of try and get the color payoff that I want because I really do want it to be intense. I want it to be like, boom, she's red. But if we don't get the color payoff that we actually need from right now, when it's a little bit drier, I can maybe go in and add a little bit more. But we'll see. All right, and then next, I'm just going in with a little bit of my Shea Moisture Curl Mousse. All right, so now these curls are nice and prepped for some gel slash temporary hair color. I'm ready. So I'm gonna start off by just doing a little bit. I'm not really sure what to expect, so. This is actually so pretty. I don't know if you guys can see. Can you see how shiny and like kind of shimmery it is? Uh, so beautiful. I love the shimmer, love the shiny. It's giving me vibes. Ooh, you can smell the watermelon and the strawberry. Oh, that's so nice. I really like that. It is, whew, the color payoff is there, honey. Okay, let's do this. Oh my gosh. We're about to really see how this is gonna work on darker curls. It's happening. 
Yes. I can already see it coming through. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be real cute. I don't think this color is something that I could commit to on like, you know, a regular basis, like actually dyeing my hair permanently, but this is definitely something I'd reach for pretty often, I think, to just do like a little temporary switch up, you know? So I am gonna add even more. Like I said, I want like a really nice intense red. I don't want it to look like a faded red that's like, did she do anything? Or, you know, I'm not so sure what I'm looking at. I want it to be red, okay? And she's red. She's red, it's coming, it's coming. I'ma just go ahead and add one more layer on top because why not? Whoo, yes, honey. All right, the color's there. She is there, y'all. This is kind of exciting. I gotta show you guys this. This is honestly turning into such a mess already. I kind of expected that though, so. I mean, y'all can already see. <laughs> The difference, right? Wow, me with red hair, what? I just think it's really cool that nowadays you're able to experiment a little bit more without always having to sacrifice the health of your curls because I'm literally not gonna have to worry about like anything. This is like, it's as if you're styling your hair with a regular gel. All right, now I just wanna make sure that there aren't any chunks that are missing. I feel like we could add a little bit more red right here. Like, I'm not playing. I need this to be balling out red. Look at this, even the edges are finna be red, okay? Oh my God. This is red, y'all. Oh my gosh, wow, okay. I think I've added enough. I have never seen myself with red hair before, but why am I digging the vibe? Like even right now, now that it's wet, it's like a, a deeper red. I'm assuming it's gonna get a little bit lighter when it's dry just because hair does that in general. But this deeper red is kind of giving me a little bit of a vibe. It's just clean a little bit off of my forehead because your girl has peach fuzz and I don't need my peach fuzz to be red. Mm -mm. I don't need that. I don't need a red forehead. I'm actually also very interested to see not only how this works as hair color, but also how this works as gel. And so far, we're not really seeing any frizzies. The curl definition is there for sure. So in terms of a gel right now, so far, I'm not getting any red flags. <laughs> yeah, so here we are. This is red. We're red. <laughs> I've never seen myself with red hair. So yeah, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is actually air dry and diffuse a little mixture of the two off camera. And then I'll actually meet you guys back in the studio with some makeup on and in the studio lights so we can really get a good look at this red hair, okay? So I will catch you guys back in the studio in a little bit. Ta-da! Oh! <laughs> Y'all, your girl has red hair. Wow. I love these final results. I wanna like make sure that this is like showing up in the camera. Let me see if I move my lighting a little bit. I want you guys to see this because this is so cute. Wow, I'm a little shook. I'm a little bit shook and I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling sexy. Wow, I will definitely be doing this many more times because this is so fun. This is exactly the switch of that I feel like I kind of needed. I also kind of like the fact that my dark roots are showing a little bit. It's still like mostly red everywhere, but my roots are still a little bit deep. So it gives it a little bit of dimension and I am... I don't even know who I am. I think y'all are gonna have to call me Ruby until I wash this out because. All right, so the one thing that I have noticed is that like when I'm fluffing my hair and looking down, I see like little speckles of red kind of flying all over the place. Actually, they're kind of like all over my desk right now because I got a little desk in front of me. So that's one thing. My hair is fully dry, but again, I do see little speckles coming out, but they're those kind of speckles that you don't have to worry about it staining anything. It's literally like red dust, so you just, Brush it away and that is it. Another thing that I have noticed is after fluffing out my hair so much, my fingertips have turned a little bit red as well. 
Maybe I went a little overboard, I did too much, but I love the results, I love the color payoff we have. I will say that I can confirm that it is 100% washable, so even though it may get a little bit on your fingertips, and you might rub it a little bit on your clothes just by accident, it will wash out. I know this for a fact, when I was applying this to my hair, a ton of it actually dropped on my little rug that I was standing on while I was applying it, so I went ahead and put it in the wash, and it came straight out the wash looking bright white and new again my robe same thing even though it was a black robe the red was really kind of showing up on it washed it and then boom it came out right back to normal so I'm not too too mad at the fact that maybe I am getting a little bit of transfer and a little bit of red speckles mainly for the fact that I don't have to worry about it ruining my white pillowcases white clothes or any kind of clothes or any kind of pillowcases for that matter I really love the idea of hair makeup in general just because like I've been saying I've been a little bit bored and this has definitely satisfied me without having to a commit to something and b damage my curls which y'all know I am 10,000% against so I am loving this and you guys can definitely expect to see me wearing this more often and also maybe trying out a few of the other colors they have they do have other colors there is copper there's a yellow one which i think is called gold there is a rose gold one and also a blue one so yeah i just really love how creative you can get with it and how fun it can actually be oh my gosh oh and in terms of the gel itself like as a styling product it's really really good i did notice that my hair actually dried a lot quicker than usual and we've got a good level of hold but still a nice amount of curl definition so I not only love the color but I love it as a styling product as well comment below and let me know what you guys think did you enjoy this and also let me know what color you want to see me do next because they've basically created a monster now and I'm just ready to do different colors every single week now <laughs> one thing that I would actually love to see from Curlsmith is them release a dark one and right now this is the perfect time of year for them to do it if they came out with a nice jet black one ooh, that would be good I could just wear that for like a month straight and then you know enjoy the dark vibes for a little bit and then boom wash it back out and get back to my highlights when I feel like I miss them like I feel like that would be perfect so Curlsmith Please come through with a jet black. I'm ready. I will be first in line to purchase. I also wanted to say a very special thank you to Curlsmith for sponsoring this video, supporting your girl. I really appreciate it. So yeah, guys, that is basically it for this video. If you have any additional questions for me, go ahead and comment them below. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.